So here I am in the screen beside me, standing with my racket balanced on my index finger. And you may well be saying, yeah, so what? How's that going to help me with my tennis game? Well, stick around for a few seconds and I'll answer that question, explain how best to do this little exercise, and show you two variations on balancing your racket that will go further in helping you play this remarkable game. Tennis is, of course, a game of hand-eye-foot coordination. The racket balancing exercises I'm suggesting are intended to work on that threefold coordination skill. Standing in one place and balancing the racket on the tip of your finger, and please note that I am, I am balancing it on the tip of my index finger, not on the pad, is a simple hand-eye exercise. And that gets you two-thirds of the way there. It leaves out the feet. But I recommend that you master balancing the racket with your feet still before you bring foot movement into the picture. Once you can balance the racket standing still, start walking around with it. This brings foot movement into the act, but of course you will move much faster in pursuit of the ball when you play. So once you can walk around with the balanced racket, try running with it, or at least jogging and maintaining the balance of the racket. Now, unless you're really good, you won't be able to run around like you have to do on court, but you'll be doing very well if you can, as I say, jog around as I'm doing. All right, that's what you're aiming for. How do you get there? There are three keys to balancing the racket on the tip of your finger. First key, Keep your eyes on the tip of the racket. That's the part of the racket that moves the most and thus gives you the most discernible cues as to how you have to move your hand and arm. Second key, keep your arm muscles loose and relaxed. Tight muscles can't respond to the messages your eyes are sending to your brain and your brain is relaying to your arm. You need to be loose. Sound familiar? Have teaching pros told you to relax your arm muscles? Good. This exercise can help you get the feel of it and do it during play. Third key, breathe. Lots of people hold their breath when they do this exercise and that, of course, tightens their muscles. Moreover, I strongly suspect that at least some players restrict their breathing when they play. This exercise will help you break that habit. So, get out there. See how your hand-eye-foot coordination is and see if these exercises help. I'd love to hear about the results, so leave your comments below. If you like this video, please click the like button, and if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. And of course, keep playing the greatest of all games, and I'll see you again soon.